Hey, what's good guys? This is the Daily Dose and welcome again to the channel and also welcome again to our wonderful hobby. One of the best hobbies, if not the best hobbies in the world, collecting diecast cars. So anyways, for today's video, I'll be updating you on some really cool new cars right here. Upcoming cars from Mini GT. Got some sneak peek right here. Thanks to this Facebook page, by the way, I'm I'm sorry if I don't know how to pronounce or say your uh, uh, group's name, but yeah, this is it. I think this is Chinese or something, but anyways, thank you for the photos. Kindly a like also their Facebook page. So anyways, again, some new cars from Mini GT. I think their latest cars are uh, one of the best so far. They've got tons of amazing release, like this one right here. This is the first one. Uh, the uh, upcoming uh, LB Works GR Supra right here in black so this looks rather amazing and like all of their cars or most of their cars it comes in left hand and right hand uh, variant for this by the way it is a left hand uh, variant and as you can see looks superb so you got black paint that glossy black paint with uh black rims absolutely looking really super right here tampo right here really simple all in white but i really like this one the uh gr supra from mini gt i think is one of their best castings out there and uh check this one out this is new this is the uh, mx5 miata uh to be honest i am not really sure if the headlights pop up or a pop down and I mean pop down or if they have a variant with a pop up headlights or a variant with a pop down headlight so uh, if you have any ideas you can leave a comment down below let me know guys and also let the viewers know so this is again a really cool car absolutely like this one almost in stock look not totally stock look because it has the aftermarket uh, rims but it looks rather amazing yeah it also has a uh, chin spoiler right there but again absolutely dope I don't think they have or again I'm not really quite sure if they have the uh, hardtop version but let's just see in our future updates then we have right here this beautiful LB works Nissan GTR R35 again totally beautiful as you can see this is oof, it is super it looks like the Tomica version because Tomica has this exact one but Mini GT definitely kills that one um, by a mile so look at this one right here look at the details doesn't have opening features though that's uh, one major drawback uh, from Mini GT but they do have one car that is the Kaido Works collaboration where they have uh, opening features but I again I'm always saying this in my videos I hope in their future updates or future release they will have cars with opening features and also right here this is of course the latest one the LB Works Kuma Graffiti R35 Type 2 so again look at how cool this one and I just love the graffiti style artwork on the body that is so dope also right here this is the latest Bentley Continental GT this is from the 2020 GP ice race and wow again looking super right here I just love the artwork on this one I love the tempo look at the detail on this car it's really amazing how much detail they have put on their cars and the quality is awesome for just like uh, 450 pesos in here or close to 10 us dollars i don't know what uh, exactly is the pricing out there for our us friends but i think it's close to 10 us dollars so really cool cars right here and look at this one the uh, latest c8r corvette c8r can look at that that is quite gorgeous damn this this is just beautiful to look at and also their latest uh, mercedes-benz actress right here 
Look at how cool the patterns are. There, that is really amazing. It's like camo pattern and look at right there. It's like a wolf, right? And it looks super, look at that. Just a cool release. This is quite expensive though, at around like more than 50 US dollars. But it is big and of course the details and the craftsmanship is there. Yeah, look at that. Look at the details. Also right here, some sneak peek of their upcoming Land Rover Defenders. Look at them. This one has that uh, removable part on the back. It looks really cool. Look at that. A stock looking Land Rover Defender. To be frank, I'm not really the biggest fan of their stock looking Land Rover Defenders. I do collect uh, Land Rover Defenders from Mini GT, but the stock looking ones, I haven't bought it yet, but I think I will buy this one because of that uh, removable part right there. Removable part looks really cool. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm liking. Look at this brand new Land Rover Defender 110 from Mini GT. Can just sample prototype, test the reserve tire right there. And look at how cool this one is. Just build for the off road. That is super cool. It has the uh, winch right there. That is super. Absolutely on fire. Yeah, again, look at that. So this one, I think it's it will be pretty similar with their other Land Rover Defenders. Uh, with the soft plastic uh, snorkel, soft plastic or rubber, uh, I mean, uh, side mirrors. But again, the details. Just absolutely stunning. I wish the accessories on top uh, were removable, but for this one, again, certainly not removable. Here's the another stock looking Land Rover Defender 110. It's really cool. I love uh, how they're using the uh, steelies. Uh, it looks just absolutely on fire. And uh, a couple of Porsches right here. Look at this. Absolutely on point look at the details right there there's a convertible and look at that just great still don't know what uh, color these two will come in but i'm really excited about these two Porsches also from mini gt and again follow uh this facebook page they're the source of the photo and anyways that will be all for our video for today i hope you enjoy this one if you did Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I hope I'll be seeing you on our next episode. Bye-bye guys. Peace out. Have a great day. Thank you guys for watching.